Hey guys, welcome back to my little channel. I have a video again for you today. I'm going to share with you something that turned out to be a very, very good weekend for me. This was last weekend and while my boyfriend was away on a trip, I decided to hook up with a girlfriend of mine and have a weekend with her and just do lots of stuff. So, and she lives in Oslo, which is my the town I used to live in, and so I took the car and I drove the hours it takes from here to Oslo. I took the opportunity when in Oslo to stop by a piercing studio that I know of uh, and actually got my nose pierced. Lately, I had just been thinking about that I wanted to have my septum pierced. Uh, I think it's really cute. Then I just decided, why not? I am here in Oslo and they have time for me today. So we just went over there and I did it. Um, we spent a little time in Oslo together. It was very nice. And the day after, we got in my car and we had a girly road trip all the way back to then the Slaw here uh, in the south of Norway where I live. Um, my friend Lena, she had never been here before, never been in this part of the country, never seen my home, uh, anything like that. So it was a joy to have her with me and show her where I live. One of the days we went into the city that's nearby here, it's called Kristiansand, which is a very nice city. We just walked around with, uh, of course, my dog and uh, it was wonderful weather and we just had a wonderful time and uh, also since uh, we would planned her visit for a little while I thought that why not go to the local zoo and hang on before you judge me on that I'm just gonna say that I'm usually not a huge fan of zoos <laughs> like I love animals like to an extreme amount. I love animals even more than I love humans and that's not an exaggeration. And I'm very, very aware that zoos very often is not a very good home for a lot of animals. Uh, and there are a lot of zoos around the world that, that very frankly, you should not visit. In general, in Norway, we have extremely strict animal welfare laws compared to a lot of other countries, you won't find that many suffering animals. There are no basically stray dogs and cats. It's like, I mean, of course there are instances, but I'm talking on the greater scale here compared to other countries. You don't really see that in Norway. We have very strict animal welfare laws and we have a high regard of animals in this country. Uh, which is good. Uh, and I also know that uh, Dyreparken, which is the zoo here in Kristiansand, is very famous. It's one of the biggest attractions in this country, I believe. And they have a reputation for being very, very good with the animals, um, that they put the animal's welfare first. Uh, and they also have programs for preservation of animals and uh, species in this park. Anyways, I'm not going to go on and on about that. Just know that this is stuff that I think about. And I would not feel comfortable giving them my entrance fee money if I weren't sure that they were actually good at this and they actually care about the animals. Actually, they also have their own TV series here in Norway, which is actually pretty cool. Anyways, um, I went there. I hadn't been there before. Neither had Lina. So we were both there for the first time and me as the little sucker for animals that I am, I have to say it was so, it was so great. When you're so deep, you're about to drown When you're in the lost and found Cause heartaches only last a day They have so many animals in this park and or zoo, whatever you want to call it. And of course, you're not guaranteed to see all of these animals because they they have these areas where they can uh, 
both be inside and outside and I am happy to say that they have areas where they can hide away from people uh, if they don't want to be on display, they can they can relax. Um, so, of course, we didn't get to see every animal they have in the park, but I got to see pretty many of them. And I have to say, it was so exciting. Many, many of these animals I have never seen in real life before. I have just seen them on countless TV movies and series uh, with David Attenborough from when I was young. and. It was such a great experience. Uh, both Lina and I are like huge animal geeks. I did, actually did not know they had lemurs there, uh, ringtail lemurs. Uh, I love them. <laughs> I, I just, I, I think they're adorable. I was totally shocked to see when we got in that area that they were actually running free in that area. So when I got in there, my heart kind of stopped for a minute. And I was like, what, am I allowed to be here? Because these lemurs are like feet away from me. Is this allowed? Am I supposed to be here? Like, is this normal? And it turns out it is normal and they are so freaking adorable and you're not allowed to touch the animals, which is fine, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. But they were like so close and I was, I was like this close to a lemur. And one of the lemurs actually took my hand. And it's a moment I will never Ever forget. You told me that it wasn't right. I knew it first that time, and even if I was blind, and all those possibilities. I think actually my heart stopped beating for a second there, and I was like, the baby lemur touched me. He touched me. Um, so yeah, that was, that was mind blowing to me. Uh, so they, they were fed, uh, and the zookeeper had a presentation of the ringtail lemurs. And after that, they just wanted to go in. So all of them just disappeared in. And I just stayed there for as long as I could, just soaking up the, the, you know, the lemurs everywhere. And I was like, oh, it was such a, like, little baby like a child I was like so excited it was 
it was so heartwarming. I, uh, yeah, to be close to those animals, it just gives me, oh, I just, I just love it so much. And of course, not just lemurs. Like, I I, I love all animals. Um, they had like a petting zoo for children there as well, uh, which is like you know the normal with the the kind of pair of donkeys and some pigs and and goats. And I just I, I love it. <laughs> I'm definitely one of the kids there. I'm like oh, goat, a pig, and um, oh I just have the best time with just scratching on the pigs backs and cuddling the pigs and the goats and oh I just I I love it so much and this one pig I was on the ground and when I got over there start petting her she just kind of rolled over and lifted her leg up and it was like oh belly rubs and oh my god it was so awesome it was so awesome like in that moment I am just like the happiest I can be, I think. That is just peak life for me when I can just be with animals. I um, I love that so much. And we spent several hours in the park and just enjoyed and had a great time. We saw so many incredible animals up close and it was an incredible experience and I'm definitely going back there. I am so glad that I don't live that far away from there. Now I'm like, yes, I can go back whenever. Um, and I definitely will. I didn't think I was going to like film much and make a vlog or whatever. I haven't really been um, that well lately, as you probably know, but I could not, not make a video about this because it was, to me, it was just such a great experience. I'm so thankful, thankful for, for that and for her and for, for the animals and, and for that experience and um, I'm definitely going back there. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys um, and please remember to be kind to all animals and be kind to each other and if you like my content I would really really appreciate it that you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. I will be back again as soon as I can and again thank you guys so much for all the love all the support you're sending me uh, through my bumpy time. I really love you guys. I really love being a part of this YouTube community. So and I really appreciate it. So yeah, well, that's it. Thank you guys again so much. I love all you guys. Goodbye. I'll see you in my next one.